I'm back and what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to get the space where this hot water tank sits ready for the tank. See I got a little bit of platform made there. A little platform made off the floor in this little closet and I've got a pan in here and this is you know, most insurance companies these days want you to have a pan under your hot water tank, you know. Uh, you know, especially if it's on a higher level in the house, like, you know, up in the second floor or something like that, you know. But even if it's on a lower level, it can leak and, you know, cause a lot of damage. When I set this pan up for the old tank, what I did was drilled a hole in the little mount I've had here. And down in here, it might be a little difficult to see, but I've got a pipe. I've got a pipe here that uh, runs outside and I'll show you where the other end of that is okay so that end of that pipe is out here so you know if any time during the life of the hot water tank it starts to leak and usually when they leak they'll leak inside of the insulation you know right at the tank and the water will run down inside of it and come out the bottom onto the floor but in this case it'll come into the pan and any water is going to do no harm at all because it's going to come outside it's just going to drip on the ground here so this replacement tank I've got is larger in diameter than the old tank and it doesn't fit into the pan. This needs a minimum of 22 and a half inches uh, to fit it fit down in the pan. And this other pan is just over 20 inches. So I'm not gonna be able to use this. Okay, so this pan here that I picked up is, this is 26 inches in diameter. A 24 inch pan would have worked, but I, I couldn't find a 24 inch pan. In any event, the, the drain hole in the pan isn't in the spot where my hole is. See, where it's over there, it's off a bit, okay? Now, what I thought to do is I could turn this pan so that it overhangs my little platform there, see? So I could, re I could move this, you know, cut into this pipe, probably put a 45 in it right here, bring it over and, and fit it into that hole. But that's a lot of mucking around. So I'm going to take a couple of little pieces of sheet metal and I'm going to make a patch for this hole and I'm going to silicone it down from the top and up from the bottom. So that'll make that hole waterproof. And then what I'm going to do is I've got a sink tail piece. That's what you hook onto these things. And I'm going to just going to locate where the hole is here. I'm going to drill another hole in the pan. Okay. And that'll be fine. I'll, I'll hook that back up into the... Um, there's a compression fitting down in there, uh, like a standard plumbing compression fitting that fits this inch and a half pipe. So I'm gonna put that down in there, snug it up, and then I've got the existing drain. I'm gonna reuse it. And you'll see here, well, this will be sitting inside a bit. It'll be underneath the tank, but that doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sit the tank up on a couple of strips. I think maybe I'll cut a couple of pieces of maybe pressure treated lumber and just sit a little strip here and a little strip there. And that won't put the tank up too high. I'll probably just put half inch pieces. And what it'll do is it'll give a little bit of air underneath the tank for air to circulate. And if there's ever a drip, it'll just drip down onto the pan and go up the drain, okay? Okay, so once I get that patch made, I'm just gonna orientate it towards the back so you don't see it. You know, I'm not, it hasn't been done yet, but once I get it patched, I'm gonna put it towards the back. So I'm just gonna locate this in here like that, I'm gonna put a mark there and a there, okay. Okay, so I got that pan pushed all the way back to the wall, both sides there, okay, as far as it's gonna go. Now that hole that I'm trying to find is right about here somewhere, okay. You know, if I could reach up in there with a, a marker, I could just mark it directly onto here, but there's a pipe right in there. There's a pipe in the way, though, my drain pipe, right? Okay, so, I'm going to do that. Well, there's lots of little ways you can, you know, transfer a, a, a measurement. One of them is you can just smear the opening of the hole with something like grease or in this case, what I've got here is I've got some hand cleaner. I've got some fast orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little of that around the... I'm just going to put a little uh, fast orange hand cleaner around the hole. Okay. Okay. And pan back on my little marks there and just sit it down. Push. Push it down that. Look at that. We've got the hole transcribed onto the bottom of the pan exactly where it needs to be. So I'm just going to run it around there with a marker. Okay, so I've selected a hole saw that is almost identical in size to that tailpiece. 
and if anything it might be just a little bit smaller and I might have to just file out the hole a bit but we'll see I think it's going to be pretty close okay now for the pan bring the pan over here I've set a couple of pieces of plywood under here so we're not going to bend the pan by pushing down on it with the drill good okay now we'll turn it over and we'll clean up those burrs but this is how it's going to fit down it's going to go down from the top like that put a healthy bead of silicone around that tailpiece like that okay all right i'm going to turn it over up like that and I'm gonna give it a healthy squirt around the bottom okay okay I'm gonna wipe off that little bit of excess and we're gonna set this aside and let it dry a little twist there it is if that leaks I'll eat my hat you know if that leaks I'll eat my hat and that'll be another video of course Okay, I'm just going to walk away from this for a while, leave it, leave it hard, and I'll come back in a bit and show you how we go to the next step. Okay, so down the hole, you see the pipe that i got to connect into? You see it there? And there's the tailpiece glued into the pan. All right, so I'm going to put that down in there. Got the gland nut on there, just a couple of threads. And I got the seals just sitting inside of it. So what I'm going to do up here on the tailpiece, I'm just going to lubricate it a little bit so it'll slip down through there well. And uh, once it's down in place, once the pan's down flat on the floor, we'll tighten the, the gland nut from underneath. There's the patch I made. So I've got the pan down in place and I've got this tailpiece down inside the pipe and I've tightened the gland nut. Okay, so I've got some strips sitting in here that I'm going to put the tank on. That'll just keep the tank up off the bottom of the pan, and it'll still allow any drips of water to get caught in the pan and find the drain and go out. And uh, just so you know, this is, uh, this is yellow cedar. So it's, it's impervious to uh, rot or, you know, for quite a long time, and uh, it's not pine or something. So, uh, yeah, yellow cedar. Uh, they call it yellow cypress in places, Alaskan cedar in other places. And uh, just cut some strips of that and... Uh, I'm going to set the tank on that in a second. Okay, so I just got the tank set in there. I'm just going to straighten it out. And that'll be fine. And then we'll hook it up. 